Hello, we're going to take a deep dive in teleporting from one hub to another. So why would you do that? Now, well, this is one hub I've made. The creator is just there because it's the default, it's not really doing anything. But this black dot in the middle is actually a video. It's a video, which I go on the right hand side here, um, which has been uploaded. It's a 360 Echo Rotangular video, and I've wrapped it so I can have it as a flat one there. Uh, but I'm going to just go echo rectangular so it just moves it all around so that when you spawn into the spawn point, or in this case it's a waypoint because of reasons, you are in the very center of this video. So you can look up, you can look down, look around, and that will give you your video in 360, which is really powerful. And we've got um, as a spawn point, we can um, start, we do start this hub in there, and you can't move. Oh, off the point, you can't teleport away from it, but you can move your head. So that's what we've got going on there. It's just a host to be able to see a video in 3D. So how can I jump into this special hub? So I've already published this hub, so you don't have to waste time doing that again, but I've clicked this button to open hubs. So it's given me this over here. Now I could say, go ahead and create a room with the scene. And what will happen is it's just gonna load as normal, and in a second, we should see this pop up and you can join the room and do the normal things. Actually, I'm just gonna join the room so you can see what's happening in here. So I can move around, I can see there's a nice video there. That's cool. But that's not what I want. Um, I want to be able to go into that from somewhere else. So this URL is very important. This URL is unique to this hub, which is anyone can go to this URL. I can share this with anyone in the world at any time. If I say create room with this scene, we get a new URL, huge perfume domain. That is unique to this instance, which means I can't share this unless this is running. So what I need to do is I need that URL. So I'm gonna leave this page running. So um, I'm just gonna go over here, back to projects. Don't need to save anything there. And where am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it in my office room, which is a demo I just built for some fun things I'm doing at the moment. So let's load this up and then take a look at what we can do. So we've got the spawn point, just focus on that. So I'm gonna put a teleportation ball here. So um, I'm just gonna to go to my assets. I've already got an image of that video, just a screenshot. So I'm going to pull that up here and I'm gonna increase the size to three times scaling. That's good. And I'm now gonna make this into a clickable link so I can go from here into my other zone. Go over here to the page I talked about and copy that back into here. Select my picture, go down hide all the artwork from Tate Modern, which is another art gallery version I'll be seeing in a bit. Go to uh, link href and paste it in there. That is great. Now, if we went to projection equals um, extra rectangular, we can no longer use it as a link. So we're gonna leave it um, as it was before on uh, flat and the hubs link is there. So I'm now just gonna go and publish this to hubs and we're going to jump into this in a minute and you will see how this image is now a link to a whole new hub. Okay, here we are in our room. So spawn point has pointed us this way, that's nice. Let's turn around and we see our picture just as we put in before. Hover over, it says you scene, so I click on that and we're teleported into the Boris scene from before. So give a second, we've got audio, we've got video Everything's moving around, that is lovely. We teleported in. Now I could put another link in this page so I could click on here and teleport back to the hub I was in before so that the place before becomes a just a path to everything else. But there we go, that's how we get into a different hub using links, using Mozilla Spoke.